She is almost here. Doki Doki. Hi, nice to meet offline for the first time. Huh? Wait, you're a mimic? Hmm? Is there a problem? I'm not that different from a human woman. You look totally different on the dating app. Did you use a fake photo or a filter? How rude! That's totally me! You see, my slime can mimic any shape, so I'm not lying to you! Mm. Uh, finally! Ah! Without even thinking, I pressed all the buttons at once! Oh well... Ah! Anyways, time to cool down! Huh? <coughs> There should be a warning sticker on a large glass door like this! We harpies can't see them otherwise! If you don't do something about it, I will sue you! It's my right to not use those ugly stickers on my doors! There's no need to go to court. Would you accept something that is not a sticker? Like what? Hmm. That's too dated! Overruled. Hmm. Package delivery for Miss Invisible! It just had to happen when I'm in the shower. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's fine. Mm, please sign here. <laughs> mm. Being wrapped in a bath towel somehow makes it more embarrassing. Miss Invisible's mom. If you watch those kind of scary shows, you won't be able to fall asleep later. <laughs> Miss Invisible, age 8. A scared child will likely wrap themselves in their blankets while trying to sleep. But she has other ideas. If I get undressed and sleep on top of my blankets, I'll be completely invisible and monsters won't be able to spot me! You're going to catch a cold like that, kiddo! Ah, uh, Carmilla, your travel mug has such a vampire flair! Do you need the cup? Why not drink it directly? Mm. Vampires can't touch running water, so we have to drink from a cup. Uh, it's hard being a vampire. Also, to avoid violent ripples, please don't move around so much, teacher. Uh, I'm not going to cause any ripples! <laughs> when a Victorian maid needed to hand an item to an employer or guest, they were required to use a tray. Delivering directly by hand was prohibited. Young master, I have a letter. Oh! Boing! Bong! Uh, sorry. <gasps> Nadia, you're rather bold. Doki, doki, doki. No, all I wanted was to give you a letter. <sighs> Places like amusement parks occasionally encounter flying races, such as harpies trying to evade fares by air. These places usually employ harpies as their security. Intruder has been spotted. Stop! <gasps> A slime watcher can make it difficult to fly, facilitating the interception. Mimics can make money by selling their slime. <laughs> there are many uses for slimes. <laughs> Anthony, I want you to. Not now, Audrey. I think someone's trying to call me on my alliance. Excuse me? Hello? Who is this? Andre, can you hear me now? Emily, where are you? Great, so it's working. In Gabriel's basement. What? Footsteps. <laughs> Oh crap, Gabriel's coming! Gotta play dead! My love... I'm so close to taking control of Ladybug and Chat Noir's Miraculous! You'll be back with us very soon, I promise! Mm, come on, hurry up! <sighs> Finally... Sorry about that. Can you believe that he comes down here every single day? It's so annoying. Emily, I can't believe it's really you! We thought you were dead! Grr! Nah, I just faked my death to teach Gabriel a lesson. He's a really bad husband, you know? Are you saying I went to your funeral for nothing? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say it was for nothing. You said you like funerals, right? Calm down, Audrey. At least she's alive. Unacceptable! Utterly unacceptable! And there it is! That's your coffin? It looks boring. Utterly boring. It's not boring, you see? This is a magic coffin. One touch and you fall asleep immediately. Magic coffin? Yeah, sure. You can't fool me, Amelia. <coughs> Audrey, no! Relax, she's fine. But she can't sleep here. We have to wake her up. Oh. Calm down, Andre. It's not so bad to leave her here for a while. But what if... Think of it as an opportunity. Now it's just you and me. We could go see a movie together. Y you mean as friends? 
It's up to you. Later, Emily, I... Huh? <sighs> Audrey! Audrey, get out of Emily's coffin! Hey, are you listening? <sighs> yes, of course there's room for two in the coffin, Gaberkins. <sighs> Meanwhile... <sighs> isn't this romantic? I don't know. Hmm. I think it would be better without the paparazzis. Huh? Oh, yeah. What do they want here anyways? Emily, do I have to remind you that your death is public knowledge? <sighs> <sighs> That's enough! Ah! Ouch! Why did you do that? I had to wake you up somehow. <sighs> Kids, have you seen this elf? Nope. Uh. Okay, thanks. Looks like I should be okay now. Thank you so much. Why are they looking for you? <sighs> Every December, Santa Claus steps up the hunt for the elves that escape the North Pole Toy Factory. I like my freedom, so of course I don't want to go back. So whimsical, pretending to be a kid. Well, she doesn't have a figure like my mom. Huh? What you mean? Do you think that's how an elementary school student would dress? Hm. Wouldn't you wear something like this? No. Sir, don't put your luggage on the seat. Oh, uh, this isn't mine. Ugh. Rude! I'm not someone's luggage! Uh, I'm sorry, I don't recognize what monster you are. I'm a mimic. Could you wake me up at this station? I might be a bit grumpy, though. M no! In galleries and museums, it is important to maintain an environment that allows a pleasant experience. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Miss, I'm sorry, but your way of moving is too noisy and distracting. I must ask you to leave. Races with claws, such as dragons, must wear footwear to minimize noise on wooden floors. That should do it. Growl, 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 growl. Large races can have very loud stomachs. Uh, it's best if you eat before your visit. <laughs> you? Why are you here again? This should be enough to minimize noise, right? See? I can slide quietly by secreting mucus. <sighs> Please leave and never return. The newly captured year beast was sent to the desert base for containment. Look at the stripes on it. Is it the tiger beast? It's kind of early for it. Ow! Wait! Hmm? Sir, Dolly said it wasn't the tiger beast because she tastes like milk. I see. Ba Ow! Wait, what? Squeak, squeak, squeak! The stripes are from her clothes being stretched until they ripped. Bow wow! She's a fat cow! Due to prolonged periods of kneeling, maids are prone to a particular occupational risk. Perpetular bursitis, also known as housemaid's knee. <sighs> Dragons can reduce the risk of developing it by keeping their bodies level to the ground. Hmm. As expected of the young master, I'm gonna need to solve this problem once and for all. <laughs> uh, be gone, temptation! You can unlock him once you're finished with your work. <laughs> She holds my key. Does that mean I'm bound to her? <laughs> Not yet, young master. Why am I getting a bit excited? <laughs> that side-bearing outfit is amazing. Little one, am I pretty? You look p pretty, I think. Well, and how about now? <laughs> <laughs> Are you wearing the mask sideways? With everyone wearing masks, I'm worried I'm losing my style, so I'm trying something new. How about you take a photo and post it on social media, like Iku Chisake Ona caught sporting a new style? Hello, do you wanna hook up? Sure thing, lady. Great. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Tow hitchhikers carry their own trailer beds and find trucks to hook up with and hitch a ride. Huh? Just not my guardian angel waiting for me? Hmm. Just not my knight in shining armor making his guardian angel wait for him for weeks. <laughs> I missed you. Hmm. How could you do this to me, you stupid cat? <sighs> I thought you got hurt again and your wounds didn't heal well in you. Uh, I'm deeply sorry, Pr er, Marinette. I wanted to visit you sooner, but I was occupied with other things. But I'm fine. I'm completely healed thanks to you. Please forgive me. It's okay, I understand. I was just so worried. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. I'm taking you to a meowtiful place. What? What are you doing? But 
But what if someone sees us? Besides, I have to tell you something important. <laughs> Don't worry. No one will notice us. And you can tell me what you want in that place, too. Just hold on tight, Marinette. <laughs> Pont Alexandre III. So, what did you want to talk with me about? Or maybe it was just an excuse so you can enjoy my possum company longer. <laughs> uh, only in your dreams, chat. I want to show you this. So, do you have any idea? I did not think this through was a sentence that kept echoing in Chat Noir's mind while the princess showed him the poem and told him all about her research. He had to act as if it was the first time he's been hearing about these things and pretended to be interested or even excited by these news. <sighs> I'm afraid I don't know what that soul of Paris can be, but I know someone who might can. Uh, is it Ladybug? <gasps> no, it's not her. Ladybug and I aren't on the best terms at the moment. Actually, I haven't seen her for the past weeks, but I will do tell this to her once I'm certain about this information. I was thinking about my master, the one who gave my powers back then. Well, well I, I see. Hmm. And how are you doing, Marinette? Do you get along well with your husband? <laughs> I guess things are going smoothly if you two are working together on this case. First time she's calling me by my name. Oh, you mean Felix? <laughs> Yes. I suppose he's not that pawful anymore, as you once said. If he helps you with this research, right? Indeed. I think he changed. Or maybe I had been just misjudging him all along. But we actually get along very well now. And I'm really thankful for it. In the past days, or even weeks, he has helped me out a lot when I was having a hard time. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm glad to hear that. And see, I told you, you just need to get to know him better. I admit, you were right about this one, chat. <laughs> I need to go back now! It's the sunrise! <laughs> Shall we then? Yes, but before we head back... <clears throat> thank you for this night, kitty. Wait, kitty? Only Ladybug called me like that before. <sighs> <sighs> My husband. I'll go to the market and get some ingredients for today's dinner. I'll make your favorite. Have a nice day. Love you. Daughter. I love you, mother. <sighs> Master. Morgan, is that you? Yeah. Welcome home. How was your di- Hey. Oh. Uh, Okasama! I wanted to be the first one to welcome you- uh, Curse you, Fujimori Ritsuka! As expected of Okasama, she win again! Oh, well. Girls, girls, hear me out! So yeah, I think my mother is finally dumping that guy. They had another fight! I had my suspicions since kid, but finally I was able to put it all together. I mean, what kind of loving pair fights almost every night? They always fight at night, but the last one was pretty intense. A lot of yelling. But that guy has at least the decency of clapping so much for Okasama's victory. Uh, we need to talk. Hmm? Sit, Chan. My queen. My husband. Uh, Okasama, you... You were do that all this time with that guy! Hmm. I'll tell you a tale of the bottomless blue and its hay to the starboard. Heave ho! Look out, lad. A mermaid be waiting for you in mysterious valens below. Isn't this great? The salty sea air, the wind blowing in your face, a perfect day to be at sea. A fine strong wind and a following sea. Queen Mitsuki must be in a friendly type mood. Oh yes, delightful. Queen Mitsuki? Why, ruler of the mer people, lad. Though every good sailor knew about her. Mer people, Kiri, pay no attention to this nautical nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> But it ain't nonsense, it's the truth. I'm telling you, down in the depths of the ocean they live. Heave ho, heave ho, and mysterious fathoms below. Her Royal Highness, Queen Mitsuki, and presenting her royal husband and the distinguished court composer, Bakugo Masaru. I'm really looking forward to this performance, Masaru. Your Majesty, this will be the finest concert I have ever conducted. All the performers, they will be spectacular. Even our darling brat? Yes, yes, even our darling Katsuki. If only he show up for rehearsals once in a while. Mm. 
Mitsuki, honey. Katsuki! Kachan, wait for me. Well, then hurry up, nerd. Look, there it is. Isn't it fantastic? Yeah, sure. It's it's great. Now let's get out of here. You're not getting called Vins now, are you? Who, me? No way. It's just, uh, her. it looks damp in there. Yeah, and I think I may be coming down with something. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> All right, I'm going inside. You can just stay here and watch for sharks. Wait, sharks? Kachan, wait for me! Kachan! Kachan, do you really think there might be sharks around here? Deku, just make up your damn mind, won't ya? Damn, nerd, don't be such a guppy. Come on, this way. <laughs> wow, Kachan, have you ever seen anything so wonderful in your entire life? Wow, cool, but uh, what the hell is it? I've never seen anything like this either. Any ideas, nerd? No, but I bet Mina will know. Let's go ask her. Mina! Whoa! Whoa! Fishman off the port bow! How you doing, Blasty? Oh my! Wow! What a swim! Here, bird brain. Tell us what we found here. Yeah, we were in the sunken ship. It was really creepy. Human stuff, huh? Hey, let me see. Look at this! Wow, this is special! It's a dinglehopper! Humans use these little babies to straighten their hair out! See? Just a little twirl here and a yank there, and voila! You got an aesthetically pleasing configuration of hair that humans go nuts over! What about that one? Ah, oh, this I haven't seen in years! This is a wonderful, abandoned bulbous snarflat! Now, the star flat dates back to prehistorical times when humans used to sit around and stare at each other all day. Got very boring, so they invented the star flat to make fine music. Allow me! <sighs> music! Oh, the concert! My drum part! Shit, the hag is gonna kill me! The concert was today? Uh, we're so sorry. We gotta go. Thank you for everything, Mina. I just don't know what we're gonna do with you, Kotsky. As a result of your careless and reckless behavior, the celebration was ruined, completely destroyed. Now thanks to you, I'm the laughingstock of the entire kingdom! But it's not his fault! Oh, well, in fact, given the time period we were gone, we could have gotten back to the concert on schedule, but then we lost track of time, got distracted, and Kachan completely forgot, and then... Mutter, mutter, mutter. And then the Dinglehopper demonstration and Mina Snarplat music solo, but it didn't sound like it was working. Mina? You mean that seagull? What? Oh, you went up to the surface again, didn't you? Didn't you? I'll kill you. I'm sorry, Kachan. How many times do we have to do this? You could have been seen by a human and snared by some fish-eating barbarians. They're not barbarians, and I'm not a child, you old hat. You don't have to. Don't you take that tone of voice with me, young man. As long as you live under my ocean, you'll obey my rules. And I am never, never to hear of you going to the surface again. Is that clear? <laughs> Let's go, Deku. You can come out now, dear. You don't think we were too hard on him. Hmm. He... Teenagers. They think they know everything. You give them an inch, they swim all over you. And I... I'm just worried. Aren't parents always? It's part of the job, my dear. We were like that too. Remember that. Kachan, are you okay? Stupid old hag. Always trying to show his boss. Keeping me under tight control, under constant supervision. If only I could make her understand. She just can't see things the way we do. I don't see how a world that has stories of heroes like All Might could be bad. If only she would just look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the guy? The guy who has everything. Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around, here you think, sure. He's got everything. I've got gazets and gizmos aplenty. I got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I got 20. But who cares? No big deal, I want more. I wanna be where the people are. I wanna see, wanna see him dancing, walking around those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down a... What's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free, wish I could be part of that world. What would I give if I could live out of these waters? What would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? 
Bet you on land they understand. Bet they don't recommend the fighters. Rebel children, sick of swimming, ready to stand! And ready to know what the people know! Asking my questions and get some answers! What's a fire and why does it? What's the word? Burn? When's it my turn? What did I love? Love to explore that shore above? Out of the sea? Wish I could be part of that world. <gasps> or ah! Denki, come on, here, boy. Uh, hey, come on, Mutt. What you doing, huh, Denki? Good boy. <laughs> hey there, sweetie. Quite a show, eh? Bird brain, be quiet. They'll hear you. Ooh, I gotcha, I gotcha. We're being intrepidatious. We're out to discover. The hell I just tell you. Shut up. I've never seen a human this close before. His hair is so stupid. <laughs> oh, redhead. You chose a looker. You have good taste. Handsome, isn't he? Silence, silence. It is now my honor and privilege to present our esteemed Prince Kirishima with a very special, very expensive, very large birthday present. Ah, oh, Ciro, you old beanpole. You shouldn't have. I know. Happy birthday, Ajiro. <laughs> so close. Phew. We have to leave. Remy-chan, Remy-chan! Hmm. You'll be dead meat without me right now. You don't have to come with me. Also, I have no choice, and thanks to you, they'll be over me too. I didn't know they followed me. Once we are far enough, we can separate. This should be a safe place to rest tonight. We should remove our wet clothes or we'll freeze. You... you grew up. Put this on, I have always a spare one with me. Yes, nerd, I have news for you that's happening when years passes. Do you want some bread? No thanks, I'm not hungry. You should eat something, we had a long road. You said Bakugo. You've always called me Kachan. I caught it, we are safe now. Kachan is amazing! Mom, I have to go, I have to find him! Mom, please, he's my best friend! I thought we were best friends. I'm so stupid, am I, Deku? <gasps> Stop! You know this is not true. You- you don't understand! Alright, today I let something happen. My mom brought me to the next village. I thought we were asking for food, but I was wrong. Right, then let me to- I'm listening. Oh, the famous midoriya son. This is Ochako, my beautiful daughter. There, the clan leader and his daughter were waiting for us. I was supposed to marry her ten days later and move to their village, so... We finally meet, Tenku. This is my son, Izuku Midoriya. Tenku, this is our pact! We'll be always together, guiding the village one day. Two clan leaders! Izuku, my love, don't cry, please. It is your destiny. You're doing for a major cause. But I was a coward and not ready. So that night, I packed my stuff and left. Our village would be safe and could rise again from the misery. <laughs> That's why they're after me. D Izuku, you were just a kid, okay? I'm surprised that Aunt Inko didn't understand it. You could have told me. I would have helped you as I always did. Why didn't you? Uh, I was so scared. I didn't want you to escape too. I'm a disaster, Kanchan. Sorry. I'm here now. We can go to the village together. They'll understand. You can still- No, I'm not going back! I knew you wouldn't understand! Deku! Wait! Deku, Deku, where are you? Mercy, what is it? Do you smell Deku? Uh, Deku! <laughs> what? What happened? In that moment, I don't know why I'm reminded of that time. Beautiful and fragile like a snowflake. Kanchan, look! A snowflake! So beautiful! Bakugo, Bakugo, can you hear me? I have to bring Deku to you. Stay away from Deku! I love to explain, but we have no time. Deku lost a lot of blood. We need to bring him back to the village to save him. You need to trust me. Okay, but you're not touching him. I'm coming with you. All right, let's move. Hey, father, can I ask you something? Of course. What do you want to know, Adrian? Roger said you used to be quite the troublemaker. Can I know more about that? Hmm? Roger said that? Yeah, why? Was it a lie? Well, no, it's just I don't like to be reminded of that time. Please, Father, you promised you'd be honest with me from now on. Ah, <sighs> fine. Anthony, you better be recording, because we're going in now! 
Don't worry, I'm recording everything. Hey, Anthony, what are you up to? Oh, hi, Roger. We're doing another challenge for YouTube. Does that mean your friends are going to break the law again? Well, obviously, that's what makes the challenges fun. Ugh, we're going to get in trouble for this. You see that, Gaby? One cop is already here. Betty's heard of us. Great, then let's get this madness started. We used to do this every day until... Remind me to tell Audrey to put those videos on private. Okay, that explains why you changed your name! More stories from Gabriel's past. Spoiler warning, season 5, episode 20. No! It's gone! It's really gone! This is a disaster! <coughs> Oi, Jaggy. What? What are you doing down there? I thought you wanted to show me your new jaggy -O cards. Gabby, I need your help! Fang's collar, it's gone! Fang's collar? You mean the thing that looks just like my choker? Yes, that collar! Anaka got it for me as a special gift! If she finds out, then... Shut up, you crybaby. She won't find out. Here, just give Fang the choker. Wait, for real? Yeah, I'll get another one. Wow, I don't know what to say! You're the absolute best, Gabby. I really owe you one. Uh, whatever. Later. Look who's wearing his new collar, Anaka! Oh, aren't you a cute boy? This collar looks so good on you, Fangy! What about me? Am I a cute boy too? Well, maybe, but Fang's cuter. Mmm, my sweet camembert. I'm so glad we're friends. You call the camembert your friend? Yes, got a problem with that. Be real, Plague. You're so obsessed with cheese that friends have no value to you anymore. What? That's not true. I have very high standards when it comes to friends. High standards? Are you sure? Hey! Yeah, I'll show you! Give me your phone! Huh? Yo, dude, how's it going? Yes, I want the purple one. Can you bring it to the grass mansion? Thanks, you're the best man. Who was that? Bring. You'll see. Uh, oh boy, he's here! Hello. Whoa, you got here fast! Oh, Marinette's uncle! Oh, hello, Adrian. It's nice to see you. So, did you bring the sap? Of course. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you and Plag are f, -f, -f The star of the French Chinese cuisine, Purple Camembert. Oh, my cheese! It looks even better than I imagined! Is something wrong, Adrian? I... I'm sorry, sir. I just didn't expect my cat to be friends with such an amazing chef. Friends? We're not friends. I'm just doing my job here. Haven't you heard of my new restaurant? Huh? Let's see how it tastes. Oh, Purple Camembert! You've exceeded all expectations! I hereby declare you my new best friend! This is all about the Camembert, isn't it? So, you're paying, right? Yes, at last! The Rabbit Miraculous is mine! What are you going to do next? Travel back in time and catch a ladybug at a vulnerable moment? That comes later. First, I need to take care of the one thing that's been bugging me for decades. Huh? For decades? So this isn't about the Miraculous. You know exactly what this is about, Natalie. So, you're okay with it? Okay with what? With me being crazy in love with you! Well, it's not like I can control your feelings. So I guess I have to live with it. Even if my feelings turn into a creepy obsession? Whatever, Audrey. No, you're making a huge mistake! God, ah, ugly purple man! Whoa, who are you? Listen, Audrey, I'm from the future. Don't you dare develop an obsession with him. You will ruin his entire life. What do you want from me? And why are you so purple and ugly? But I like it. No, you like Audrey. You just don't know it yet. Emily? Oh, right. Emily is still alive in this time. I have to warn her about the Peacock Miraculous before. That's enough time travel for today. Audrey, but he's so boring. And I think Emily has her eyes on him anyway. Uh, what is this guy talking about? You're coming with me. No! What are you doing? I'm not done here! Huh? No! Okay, that was weird. Aw, oh, man. I'm never gonna find out what made him so purple and ugly. Hmm.